So Shane Gupta particularly allegedly received kickbacks in the Rafale deal according to an article that was published in the French journal called Mediapart. Of course, according to those allegations, Dassault Aviation, which is a manufacturer of Rafale jet, paid money to a company in Mauritius called Interstellar. This is the company that uh, Dassault paid to and uh, through which money then went to Sushain Gupta, who is the alleged middleman here in the Rafale deal. This is Sushain Gupta, who seemed to have uh, been the man, the middleman, who has managed to, in fact, get kickbacks only to settle this deal between the Den government and Dassault. In fact, he allegedly got 65 crores as kickbacks, and that's huge money, and this bribe uh, allegedly was paid between 2007 all the way to 2012 in tranches. These are the allegations, of course, that's been made by a uh, French uh, media house. In fact, this is exactly what the BJP has now used as ammunition to hit out at the Congress. Congress in return saying that, of course, the BJP refuses a probe into this matter and therefore the fight between the two parties continues over Rafael. Let me quickly cut across and tell you here, uh, or let's understand as to who is this alleged middleman that we're really speaking of. So Shane Gupta, uh, who seems to be the man in the spotlight currently, he is a man who carried out this defense deal, a, a rather a middleman who attempted at striking this uh, deal with the then, pa the then government and uh, this company. In fact, uh, from family of defense contractors, this is where he comes from, is what we are told, and he's reportedly hired by a French side for Rafael deal. So uh, a French company managed to get him on board to try and strike the deal between the Indian government and the company. Now he ran a web of companies in India, in Mauritius, in Singapore, Switzerland, as well as in the UAE. He is an alleged middleman for Dassault Aviation in Rafale jet deal, as we did mention, and reportedly earned millions from Dassault by leaking documents as well. So uh, he managed to get deals done uh, by, of course, uh, unscrupulous ways. We're looking at this man who is accused of money laundering as well in a VVIP chopper deal. And an investigation was also uh, initiated with this regard. We're looking at uh, Sushain also, who's been arrested in 2019 by the Enforcement Directorate in a 3,600 crore VVIP choppers case. Like I did mention, he's still under scanner. We're looking at investigation that still continues on him.